Yo, it's your boss with Operator coming at you with a uh, new video. I kind of wanted to show you guys the NVIDIA broadcast app that just got released today. Um, some other uh, other people on YouTube have already uh, put this type of video out, but I don't think they uh, went in great detail about how to download it. The download just went live not too long ago. So uh, right here on NVIDIA's page, I will have this in the description below so you guys can come to this page, download it real quick and get set up. Uh, right here, you just hit this link right down here, which NVIDIA hides their stuff in their uh, conversation. But basically NVIDIA broadcast, you download the app right here. Um, I think I hit the download button, but I've already downloaded it before. And they give you the system requirements, which you have to have an RTX 20 series or above. And this is the setup guide. So in the setup guide, it pretty much tells you the download link, which is actually right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that link. And um, the support page, it tells you exactly how to do it. It's a quick startup guide. You download the app, you install it, you restart your system, it tells you to do so. Uh, you open up the uh, broadcast app and you select everything you wanna use. I will show you guys that. And then also it tells you to uh, configure your live streaming to what you wanna do. So in OBS, you will select microphone, NVIDIA, speaker, NVIDIA, camera, NVIDIA. And that's a quick rundown of how that works. Obviously right here, you can see me, my face, what's up? And um, I will go ahead and pull up the app right here. Uh, I, I know the three dimension thing is pretty crazy to look at. But uh, if you look over here, um, the microphone right here, I already had installed the um, RTX voice. I believe, I don't know if this is gonna be discontinued or not, but yes it is, it's already gone. Cause it's already put into um, this program. So here it is. This is the RTX program you guys are probably already using, it's baked right in. You just go and select your microphone, minus the um, Yeti Nano. And you have the effect to where you can do noise removal, which is the only thing you need, honestly. Um, you have the speakers. So the speakers is you can pretty much mute someone else that you're playing with, like if you're in Discord, somebody's child is screaming in the back of their lungs or something, um, you can just hit this and it'll get rid of whatever they have going on on their side. And um, you pretty much, you can test everything out, air conditioning, um, chip bag, fan, rain, typing. This is all the things that you can try to kind of go ahead and exit out of everything. So camera, this is the part that's in beta. So as you can see right now, this is the camera, but with a little magic, boom, green screen. So I'm gonna try to look right at the camera. It's all green screen. Um, it's not perfect as you can see like the little shadings bouncing on and off. And I have like a key light right here in front of me. And then I also have my room real lit. And it's still, um, you know, just a little off. Probably because I have black on this black microphone. It's probably the black, honestly. But in the drop down down here, you can also do um, background replacement. I haven't tried this yet, but you can select your own image if you want to. I don't have any images, but just for the sake of this video, um, let's see if I can pull up maybe a wallpaper that I already have. Let's try this. Look at that. I can put Horizon Zero Dawn in my background. That's pretty cool. Now I can switch to a background blur. I like this effect. This is pretty cool. It brings you up and my whole, this is my whole entire background, but it's blurred. And I think uh, camera wise, they done that pretty well. I think the, the uh, mic might go in and out, but it's crazy how they focuses on you and blurs everything out perfectly. Uh, so this might be another thing that I might um, actually pick up. Then you have the strength toggle over here where um, you can really blur out your background or you can turn it down as needed. That's not as blurry, then that's taking the whole entire blur off. I believe you're gonna max it all the way out. And look at that, you're the light of the show. There you have it guys. Um, that is the broadcast software in a nutshell. Here's the settings. I'll launch while Windows starts. But um, how do you uh, put it in OBS? Well, down here, uh, you go to properties. And like it tells you, you have to select the camera that the NVIDIA broadcast is using. 
Also, when you set it up, you have, and I mean you have to open up the broadcast software first. Open this up first, select your webcam, then open the OBS, and then they'll work. They got so much for watching. It's your boy Smooth. I stream on Twitch as well, and also make YouTube content. Please like, comment, and subscribe.